water hockey is a limited contact sport in which two teams compete to move a puck across the bottom of a swimming pool into the opposing team's goal by propelling it with a hockey stick. It originated in England in 1954. Underwater hockey is now played worldwide with the Confédération Mondiale des Activités Subaquatiques as the world governing body. <laughs> The first Underwater Hockey World Championship was held in Canada in 1980. Two teams of ten, up to 10 players compete with six players in each team in play at one time. Before the start of the play, the puck is placed in the middle of the pool and the players are waiting in the water while touching the wall. At the start of the play, the players try to score by maneuvering the puck into the opponent's goal. Players hold their breath, breath as they dive down to the bottom of the pool. Play continues until either a goal is scored when players return to their wall to start a new point or a break is play in play is signaled by a referee. Games consist of two halves of typically 10 to 15 minutes and a short halftime interval of usually three minutes. At halftime, the two teams switch ends. A typical playing formation is 3-3, three, three, three offensive players and three defensive players, but there are variations depending on the play. Often players who are most successful in the game are strong swimmers, have great ability to hold and recover their breath, and are able to produce great speed underwater while demonstrating their learned puck control. It is also important that they are able to work well with their team members and take full advantage of their individual skills. Players wear a diving mask, snorkel, fins, and carry in one hand a short stick for playing the puck. A diving mask is used to see what's happening at the bottom of the pool. A snorkel allows players to watch the play and breathe at the same time. Fins allow players to swim faster in the water. The stick is relatively short, not more than 35 centimeters, including the handle, and is colored white or black to indicate the player's teeth. The stick may only be held in one hand, which is usually determined by the player's handedness. Although players may swap hands during play, Construction materials may be of wood or other types of plastic. The puck is approximately the size of an ice hockey puck, but is made of lead or similar material. The adult size weighs 2.3 to 3.3 pounds, and the junior size weighs 1.76 to 1.87 pounds, and is encapsulated or surrounded by a plastic covering. The caps and the safety gear include, includes ear protection, The caps are colored to indicate the player's team, colored black or white. Water referees wear red hats. A glove must be worn on the playing hand to protect against pool bottom abrasion and for protection against puck impact on knuckles and other vulnerable areas. However, no rigid protection is permitted. The goals are three meters wide and are at opposite ends of the playing area on the pool bottom. Where do you play underwater hockey? We play with Go HSA. Gatino Ottawa Hockey Subaquatic. Underwater hockey has been in the Gatineau Ottawa region for over 25 years. Our club has over 50 members, men, women, and children, ranging in ages from 6 to over 50. Skill levels vary too. Some members are just starting out, trying to hold their breath long enough to get to the bottom of the pool and make a play, while others have been playing for years and have felt the excitement of representing Canada in international competitions. June 2010 marks the beginning of a completely new evolution to underwater hockey in the Gatineau, Ottawa region. That is when we began our new aquatic partnership with the city of Gatineau and their new world-class sports center. This partnership not only gave us a much improved playing facility, but the city of Gatineau's support allows us to now offer programs for adult beginners, juniors, youth 12 to 17, Nemo kids, 6 to 12, and experienced adults more challenging levels. During our season, we travel across Canada to play in tournaments with other clubs in Canada and throughout the world. We also have junior players in our club that are playing on Team Canada for the 2017 World Games. Brandon is playing on the U19 men's team. While Juliet and Maddie Steves are playing on the U19 women's team. This year is Underwater Hockey's fourth World Age Group Championship and is hosted in Hobart, Tasmania in July 2017. We are very proud and excited to be able to represent our country in this competition. Our dream is to one day have Underwater Hockey represented in the Olympics.
My name is Madeline Steves. I've been playing for three years. I competed in the 2015 Worlds in Spain for the U19 Girls Canadian team. I go to most of the practices and I help coach the emos. Hi, I'm Juliette and I'm 16 years old. I have been playing underwater hockey for half my life now and I really enjoy the sport. I am happy to represent Canada in Tasmania this summer. My name is Brandon Ellis. I'm 15 years old. I've been playing underwater hockey for seven years now. I started playing with the NEMO program, and now after years of training, I'm a part of the U19 men's team.